We've got NYX 300 Blackout AR here, and we're going to show you guys just how well this ultrasonic cleaning works, as you can tell from my hands and from the bolt. My hands and from the bolt, it looks kind of, it's dirty. Alright, ready? See how the uh, ultrasonic device takes the uh, carbon right off of it. not labor free so we have to go through and rub off the carbon but you can see how easily it comes off and we have to go over some of the brush so, how much is already there generally what it does is it breaks it up real well so that we're able to take it off and clean better than without it. okay as you can see the ultrasonic cleaning dries out the metal considerably so we have a hot oil bath that's right next to it in the next tank which we'll show you in just a second um, now the, uh, there have been parts colored in on this receiver with paint and it did take that off. So if you painted with regular acrylic artsy paint or watercolor something on your rifle, then you may not want, this may not be for you. But it does take off all the carbon buildup, there's nothing in there, you can see how clean the chamber is. And the bolt carrier group again, dries it out considerably but takes off pretty much everything as far as the, uh, the carbon goes. Okay, now, as I said, parts go into the hot oil, about 125 degrees, 125 degree oil, and this will do a couple of things. It'll put the natural lubrication back in the metal, but what it also does is it gets into all the little nooks and crannies of a firearm that don't normally get uh, lubricated or moistened in any way. And it'll sit in there for five or ten minutes, at which time we'll take it out, let it drip dry for a while, probably about 20, 30 minutes, and then clean it up the rest of the way and reassemble the bar. Okay, as you can see, it's just come out of the oil. We let it drip for a little while. There's still some oil we're gonna have to wipe down and blow off of there. But all the pieces are looking pretty good. Yeah, almost new. And we have a pretty clean gun. We wipe it down. Reassemble and we're good to go. Again, the advantages to the ultrasonic are that it gets into places that we don't normally clean or that very few people normally clean without disassembling the entire rifle. And by the time you calculate materials, buying your gun scrubber or whatever you use, Q tips, and everything else, you're kind of getting the labor for free on this thing. So uh, it'll be wiped down and we'll show you a picture in a few minutes of a brand new looking pretty rifle. Gun is done, wiped down. A little bit of residual surface oil, we found that soaks in in about a day or two. But uh, every little bit of this gun inside and out is properly lubed. We could use a little more. We generally don't get into specific lube points unless the customer requests it because people load their rifles differently depending on what the pref personal preference is. But every bit of metal in this thing has been covered with a fine coat of oil and it soaks in real nicely the next day or two.